Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's up guys? Heading into the facility. So we've got a busy day today, Sunday morning. Pretty much, this has been my Sunday morning for the last a lot of weeks, pretty much every week during the winter. Um, get up around 6.30 or so, head in right about now. Um, I have my breakfast. And so I've already basically made all my meals for the day because I will be eating everything at the facility. Um, I've got, so our typical Sundays, what I got today um, is We'll start practice at 8 a.m. So I'm gonna get in there, we'll set up. We'll get going at 8 a.m. on a dot. We'll practice for four hours with our teams. Um, 12 o'clock, we'll finish up. Probably pick up the field for 10 minutes. I'll have a lesson that starts at 10. Uh, then I've got another one after that, um, each for an hour. Then I've got a three hour session with, uh, we've got a player that came down from uh, Toronto, Canada. Yesterday we worked for about we worked for three hours yesterday. We're gonna do another three today, fielding and hitting. Well, mostly hitting, a little bit of fielding, and then I've got uh, then I've got another player coming in after that. So I'll probably get out tonight. I'll probably be done right around I'd say six thirty, seven o'clock somewhere, right around there. So. We'll go 8 a.m. to 7, right around 7 p.m. But I don't have any breaks, so I make all my food. I'm gonna eat breakfast now. Um, I'll eat lunch at some point while I'm working, while I'm in the middle of a lesson. Um, I'll just basically take a couple bites quick, eat in like 30 seconds. I made myself a chicken teriyaki sandwich. So then I've got a protein bar for like, I try to eat every three, four hours or so. So one of the reasons why I've lost about 30 pounds since my when I was playing is because I can't really ever eat anymore. Um, and this is, again, just to fill you guys in on kind of what the schedule is like. And, you know, this is my real busy time of the year. So we're in, uh, around here, so we're 20 minutes north of Boston. Um, our high school tryouts begin a week from tomorrow, so March 18th. And a lot of players are obviously getting ready for that. It's a big time of year for all our high school guys. Um, and then all of our teams, uh, our younger teams, non-high school teams, start March 30th. That's our first game. And uh, probably won't happen. Almost never happens because there's, I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of snow on the ground. So, um, and we're getting, actually today we're getting another, it says about well, five inches of snow or so. And so, um, they put the game, they scheduled the game for March 30th, but we almost never get out at that point. So we'll probably, we typically will get outside finally around the second week of April or so. Um, but good news for high school is that we have a turf field so we can plow the field. And uh, that's where we practice also for our Antelope baseball team. So we'll probably be able to get out a little bit earlier than some teams, but still games are tough. Most teams play on grass fields for games. So. Get up that way. Bring it to the middle, throw it. Get your feet going. Right to left, left to target. You throw this way. Get down. Yep. 
Play underneath the ball. Play under the ball. Oh, you kicked my hat, Dylan. Okay. There you go. Under the ball. Nice footwork, Freddy. That away. Good job. Play it right on your left eye. Come get it. Come get it. Yeah, other way, uh, Vasily, you went left, right, field it. Feel right, left, field it. Right, left, field it. Well, you got to play through it more. Play through it. Push it back. There you go. Come get it. Good. Come get it. You have to feel right, left a little more. Ready? Right, left. Oh, no, no, no. Right, left, field it. You were close, but then you tried to run through it. Michael, play down lower. Lower. Yeah, you're playing too high. Here we go. Ready to move every time. Over your left eye. Go get it. Out of way, Theo. Good job. That's better, Vinny. There we go. Yeah. Right, left, Theo. Right, left, throw. Out front a little bit more, Sammy. Get down there. Get out of the way, deep. Go get it. Out of way, Freddy. Good feet. Nice, Theo. Yeah. Out of way, Drew. Now spread those feet a little more, get low. Not away, D, way to play low. Don't so work, Freddy. Nice. Not away, Theo. Oh, on the run, the outfielder. You have to break it down. Right, left, field it. Right, left, field it. Right, left, throw it. Right, left, field it. Right, left, throw it. Out of the glove. Nice. Last one. Good. Hold it up. Okay, we're gonna switch in a minute. Let's do one final pick. Vinny, come here real quick. Always left. Spread your right. Get down the field. Cool. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, you match. So, the last couple of weeks, eyes up here. The last couple of weeks, right, we've worked on rundowns. The older guys, we worked on cutoffs. We've done a ton of double plays. We haven't done a whole lot of drills focusing on the fundamentals, right? It's been a lot of live work. Let's not forget about all the things that go in the field and the ground ball, right? All of a sudden, we went back to it today, and I see guys, a couple things. Let's talk about it again. I've got to be ready to move, right? Every single pitch. Some guys are still like this when the ball's being rolled. If I practice just being like this, and then all of a sudden, in two weeks, we go outside, and a guy's smashing a ball right down your throat, you think this is gonna work? Uh-uh. I've gotta be ready every time the ball's being hit. Every time, okay? When the ball's hit and I'm a righty, remember, I gotta get to the right of the ball. Because where am I trying to feel the ball when I break it down? Yeah, my left eye. I gotta feel it just to my left. If the ball is hit and I don't get when I see the ball and I start coming, I gotta go right. That way, when I come in and I go right, left, look at the ball's right on my left side. Everyone got that? Okay? Right, left, field it. Right, left, throw. All right? I thought we played down pretty well. The other thing is, remember, I gotta get the ball off the ground quick, so I can't just sit back there, okay? Every step that I'm just, every time the ball bounces, that guy's running down the line. I've gotta go get the ball. Big steps, to then small steps, and then right, left, get out and field it. Cool. And the last thing is, I'm old, so I know everyone's saying that you guys woke up so early. I woke up at the same time, and I'm really old. So I shouldn't have more energy than you, right? If you're young, you should be excited, okay? So I know some guys are sleepy. I woke up today and I was like, man, it's early, but now I'm ready to go, all right? So don't let me have more energy than you guys, all right? Sound good? Anything I missed? Cool. Run. Go. Run. Up your arms, go. Up your arms. Out of way, go. Pump them, pump them, pump them. Out of way, go. Pump them. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, what happened? Go -pro. Go -pro. Oh, my GoPro fell over after all those good go. ones. The baseball knocked it over. Oh, go. Who knocked it over with the baseball? Go. Come on. 
go. Why don't you guys put him in the bucket? You're right next to it. Go. Get there. Oh, nice play. Go. Get there. Ah. Go. Get there. Oh, nice play. Come on. Go! Nice. Go! Bump him! Easy play. Go! Oh, too easy for you, Jonathan. Go! Get to the left of the ball so you can get your momentum going back to the right. Alright. Catch it first. All right, catch it first, catch it first. Catch it, flip it. Ah, we're on. Make sure the one out, put her in his chest. Put her in his chest. Put it on. Put it on. All right, you're sprinting halfway and then walking the rest. Ready, go. Walk it down, walk it, walk it down. Ready, go. 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 Come on, get her off the ground quick. Best in the business right there. <laughs> One more reach. Go. 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 Brady. Uh, I'm gonna throw him. But we had Gronk, he went up and down. Go! Too easy, go! Too easy, go! Yes! Yeah! Fall him back! I actually can't see. What do you can't see? He, he wasn't doing this today. You know, it was cleaner, it was up yeah. and out. I didn't see you bobble. That's I don't think I saw you bobble. That. At least when I was that. hitting the ball, I didn't see you bobble the ball. Like that. I thought you made pretty much every play. Just like that. Good. That was nice. Just keep going. Oh, right you worked. Like, work you worked at it. Yeah, it looked yeah. good. Today was much better. I fight with him. I show him your beard. I showed him the beard. Is that Yes. I showed him right. the beard. Right. Everything is straight in. Nobody's spinning out there. Yeah. Not that. I think he's fixed it. Yeah. Not a baby. It's easy. Off the wall. Nice. Right there. Yeah. Let's do toes towards first. Oh, go get it. Yourself, yeah, go get coil, it. Coil, 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 back here. Yeah, and then when you pivot, yeah, yeah. feel the turn. Yeah. Line on the front foot. Yeah. Coil. Turn it. Hey. Line on the front yeah. foot. Coil, coil. Turn it deep. Here you go, kid. And. 
up, you pull back. And I'm gonna look on the video. I don't think it's bad. Just make sure you're still getting coiled. Yeah, get all the way forward in that back, around that back leg. And just don't shortchange yourself here. Don't start to get coiled, and then once you stride, you lose it. Feel yourself getting coiled, coiled. Pick your foot up and stay coiled until and then when you want to go. Whatever Johnny told you yesterday, it's working. All the way to the play. Oh, never mind. His dad gets all the credit for the not Can they catch your seat? Can they catch your seat? Oh, down there, the ro there's a row of lights right behind them. No, but usually the catchers complain that they can't see them down there. Yeah, I think you catch them. Like in dodgeball, I say, you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball, you can catch with a light in your eye, you can catch without a light in your eye. I know. That's the way I look at it. All right, regular flips. Make sure you get yourself pulled back. Don't let this fall in. Too early. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, and then turn it deep. Get caught around that back leg. Turn your back pocket. What? Yep. The back pocket. Ooh. Now that ball just flipped a little middle of that. You are old. You're the oldest 15 year old I ever seen. Oh. Need a breather? No, I'm getting up. Cold around your back leg. Boom. Turn it. We're good. Keep coiling as you're moving out. Now let's go toes. Take a breather for a second. Toes towards first. Okay. All right. Same thing. Coil up. Feel yourself quarter on your back leg. Turn everything really deep. Try to get the knob up in the air deep. Just make sure every time. The most important thing is to make sure that you are coiled and ready like you're yeah. loaded. If you're late or you don't get the full load, then you're going to probably be out of front, right? The only way that I can get this thing on back here, I got to feel coil, pull back, keep coiling, get loaded, boom, and go. But if you're late to that, then the whole swing breaks down. So get in a good position, and then from there, all good things will happen. But if you never get to that position, then probably pushing it out front. It won't be a deep cut. Ball, ball's coming this way. I'm trying to beat you in here. When you get pulled up and pulled back and you start to move forward, your head's got to stay back there. Because I'm, try I'm trying to like open up this area. I'm trying to create space. Turn back like that. Oh. If you go, like your head goes forward, and you just fall forward, you lose your coil, and you try to do this to get in there, you have the room. Yeah. So just, this, this will help you when you pull back, this will help you stay back a little more, more keep your upper body back. 
but you also got to feel as I keep coiling, my foot can move forward, but I'm not falling for it. This and this is keeping me back just, just, a, just a little bit more. Are right, you ready for a little game? There we go, one more counts. I'll give you a single. Man on first. One one. Single. Back up the middle. First and second. Wow. Probably a low line drive. I might fall in there. I'll give you a single. Run scores. One nothing. Second inning. You see how quickly he went on that? I want you to slow it down just a little bit so you can feel yourself pulling yourself back, keep it back as you move forward. Okay? Remember, everything above, above the waist is pulling back that way as your lower body is moving out. That was pretty good. Now do an expected faster. But that was pretty good control right there. Say that again. Keep your butt coiled. Do that again. Keep those hands up a little bit. They pulled back. Coil. Hover. Drive. Do it again. Make sure you feel yourself cool right Get your back pocket turned to the pitcher. Ready, go. Coil, stride, go. Hold on. Yeah. Ready, coil, stride. Another one! Oh, keep feeling you're gonna hover again. Keep that foot off the ground as you're coiling. Ready, coil, hover. Drive. I know that one run! You're on fire right now. Go a little higher. Try to run. Ready? Coil. Hover. Stride. One more. Good coil. Good hover. And when you pick that front foot up, feel your back pocket turn a little bit to the pitcher, just a little. You're gonna feel your knee start to do this, and that, and then as you move out, feel like you're still staying coiled, so you don't just jump. Okay. Make sure you get all the way coiled. All right, so just finished up heading home. Had a couple issues today with my GoPro. For some reason, if anybody knows the answer to this, um, let me know in the comment section. It kept shutting off after like a minute of filming and the screen would just go blank and it would shut off. And so I am, uh, I ended up losing a lot of footage that when I thought it was recording and we would stop it and look and there'd only be a minute, right? So it would look like it was recording or I'd have somebody recording and then all of a sudden we'd check it out and there wasn't anything there or there'd just be a minute or like 30 seconds. So ended up having to use my cell phone a little bit more, using my cell phone right now. Missed out on a, a couple of good things that I thought were getting recorded and they weren't. So we'll work on that for next time. But heading home now, just got out. Um, one of the longer days this year probably it's uh it's seven o'clock right now and so we went i got in there around seven probably got in around 7 30 ish 7 40 ish and then went straight through so i didn't take a single break so what's that almost uh almost 12 hours of no breaks for food or anything i ate pretty much uh, I had a sandwich that I made, teriyaki sandwich, ate it while I was in the middle of kind of giving lessons, and I ate my breakfast in the car. So, ended up having a pretty good day. Practice-wise, practice went okay. So, as you guys kind of see in the video, I actually filmed a few more things that didn't get in there. 
I think one of the big things that we talked to the guys about today was, you know, we had a couple kids, and this typically happens at this time of year. So tryouts are in a week for high school, a week from tomorrow. Um, and our, our older guys were pretty good, but our younger guys, right, you get to this point where we're almost going outside. It's almost time for the season beginning to begin. Kids have been inside now for a while. They've had a lot of practices, and the focus sometimes every year kind of starts to fade at this point. So I had to give my, my annual talk on <laughs> um, pretty much on a couple things. One that we're not an equal playing time organization. So sometimes with the real young kids, and, and I, I'll say this, the young kids have been really, really good. Um, but I gave it I gave it anyway for maybe one or two of the kids. You know, so a lot of the young kids are used to playing Little League where it's like, you know, everyone plays the same amount of innings and everyone gets the same amount of at-bats. And, and our program is all about development, and so we do want to get players in there. We don't have anyone just continually sit on the bench, but we also want the players to kind of earn their playing time in some way. And so, listen, if you're working really hard and have a really good attitude and you're doing well, you're going to play a little bit more than somebody that maybe is goofing around and not paying attention and not working hard. And that's kind of the way I want it. I don't want everyone, as much as we want, you know, players need a play to develop, but I'm not just going to play guys and we're not just going to play guys if they're not putting forth the effort we want, if they're not paying attention, if they're not trying to get better. We're not going to play those guys as much as we play the other guys. And that's kind of the way we run the program. And so I gave them kind of that talk. And then um, the other thing that we talked about that I do every year too, and the reason why I kind of gave it a little bit more today was it was our kind of like the 14-year-old group. And, you know, some of those guys are entering high school now. And I always give the talk about how when you get to high school, right, like when you're younger – Everybody, if you get cut from a team, if you don't make a team, you just go try out for another team, right? If you try to play travel baseball and you get cut from a team, you don't make a team, there's like a 100,000 other teams to go play for. You can find a league, you can find a team, you can find somebody that'll take you. When you get to high school, it doesn't happen. And so, you know, the high school that I coach has really competitive baseball, really, really competitive. Every single year, our varsity team, you know, three of the last four years, we've been in the state championship game. And um, pretty much every year we have a chance to win the, the state championship or we're competing every season, right? And so there's a lot of kids, a lot of good players, and there's a lot of kids that, that don't make teams and they don't have anywhere to go play. They just they either go play a different sport or they just sit around, right, until their summer ball team starts in the summer. And so I always seem to be giving this talk at this time of year where it's like, First of all, you've you've worked hard all year. Let's not all of a sudden, as we get closer to the season, when we're about to, we should be putting it into, we should be, you know, pedal down even more as we get close to high school tryouts. Let's freaking get going here. Let's not take our foot off the gas, and let's really not start not paying attention, start goofing around because hey, we're almost outside because high school baseball, like, they make cuts. This is real life, and. You could play baseball your whole life, and all of a sudden you get the tryouts and you don't make a team, and boom, you don't have baseball now. And maybe you'll still have summer ball, but you go end of March, all of April, all of May, and maybe a little bit of June and no baseball, and that's not fun, right? And so I always kind of give that talk just to make sure. Usually when I get really pissed off, like I was at points today when kids were kind of goofing around, um, but... That's how baseball works when you get older, right? And eventually, at some point, there's going to be a certain level for everybody where they say, sorry, you can't play the game anymore unless you want to go play like beer league softball or pick up baseball or something, right? And some players get to play a little longer than others, but you got to give every single thing you have to it every time you step on the field, practice, game, whatever, so that you can continue to earn the, the opportunity to play the game, okay? And not everybody gets that opportunity, so... That was kind of a little bit of my talk today. I just didn't think it was as crisp a practice as um, as we should be having as we get closer to the season here. We've had some really great practices today. Probably wasn't one of the best ones. So it's kind of how today went. Then a bunch of lessons. Uh, now I'm headed back home. Um, my wife apparently has cooked like a, a great meal. We'll see what that is. She's an okay chef. Okay cook. Can't. I don't think you call her chef. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm heading home. 
pretty tired. Probably see my kids for a little bit, and then uh, we'll be putting them to bed soon, and I'm probably going right to bed. Tomorrow, Monday, we've got... Uh, I've got a little lighter day. Usually Mondays and Fridays are my lighter days. I've still got some work. We've still got a handing clinic going on tomorrow, but it won't be as crazy as uh, the weekend is. And then uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're kind of back at our team practices again. Got a bunch of lessons. Uh, getting ready for tryouts week from tomorrow and our season starting up. So right back at it. That's all I got for today. It's getting pretty dark. You guys can probably not see me anymore. It was nice to get an extra hour of uh, sunlight today, though, with uh, getting the clocks pushed back. So, all right, that's all I got. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.